Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus yet again. I am Trace, and this is episode 3 of 5 in our series on asteroids and asteroid mining. Now, yesterday we talked a bit about if asteroids hit us. The day before, we talked about what they are and how they got there, so make sure you watch those episodes if you haven't already. Today we're going to talk about how to capture an asteroid, how to go out there, grab it, and then figure out what to do with it. Asteroid capturing is not actually all that easy. In 2013, NASA introduced an asteroid capture mission called ARM, Asteroid Redirect Mission. The original plan was to capture and drag a completely intact space rock into the orbit of the moon, aka a distant retrograde orbit. Astronauts would then visit that asteroid that had been captured and orbited on the moon as early as 2021. The idea is a big balloon thing that was like a donut would completely surround the rock and as it deflated, it would stop it spinning so you could control it. There's actually a really cool animation of that. We'll put that down in the description as well. As of 2015, the plan wasn't to go out and capture the whole space rock, but just a small piece of it because it turns out asteroids can get kind of big. It's hard to capture something that might be half a kilometer. Picking up a multi-ton boulder off of a larger asteroid was much easier, and we could then bring it back and inspect it just like we were planning with the big one. And you would also still keep it in the orbit of the moon. NASA's arm came after cancellation of the Constellation mission back in 2010. Constellation was over budget, it was behind schedule, and President Obama canceled it. Thanks, Obama. In case you aren't familiar, Constellation was the NASA program that wanted to put people on Mars. But later in 2010, Obama issued a directive to NASA to get astronauts to a near-Earth asteroid by 2025, and then to Mars by the mid-2030s. A study came out a little after that from the Keck Institute of Space Sciences at Caltech in Pasadena, and the study looked at the feasibility of sending a robotic spacecraft to capture a small asteroid, like seven meters wide, then tow it back to lunar orbit. They concluded that it could be done for about $2.6 billion. It's not bad, it's like a couple days of government spending. NASA took notice of the paper, they did their own study, and in April of 2013 unveiled the Asteroid Redirect Mission, which we've been talking about. As I mentioned earlier, the plan evolved over time, but it's extremely difficult to gauge the size of asteroids accurately, which makes the original plan of grabbing a big asteroid much too risky. What happens if you get up to the asteroid and it turns out that the big donut balloon thing that you sent was too small for the asteroid? That would be problematic. Also, the target asteroid would have to be big enough to be worth capturing and not so big that it would be dangerous to Earth and you know, it gets complicated. Aside from grabbing a boulder off the asteroid, the new plan would also allow for NASA to test systems to try and move asteroids out of the way. So they wanted one that was big enough to be dangerous to Earth and that would have a boulder that they could get. That would make it easier to do those other tests we talked about earlier. If everything goes according to plan, this is how it will work. The capture probe launches in December of 2020, possibly toward asteroid 2008 EV5. It's about 400 meters wide, it is the leading candidate right now. It's big enough to be dangerous, the right type, the right size. Then after two years of space flight, the robotic craft will rendezvous with the asteroid, and there it will assess the availability of any boulders on its surface. Eventually, it will nab like a four meter wide rock from the surface, and the probe will stay with the asteroid for another year or so, 215 to 400 days. And they will perform the deflection demonstration to see if their gravity tractor can work. Then it will head away toward a lunar orbit. The probe would get to the moon around 2025, and NASA would send two astronauts to inspect that asteroid boulder using the agency's Orion capsule. Capsule and Space Launch System, or SLS, both of which are in development now. They're super cool. And that manned mission would last for a little less than a month, three to four weeks. Scientists hope that if they are able to do all of this, they'll extract some insight from the asteroid on the current state of the solar system, how the solar system was formed, and how to do all this stuff, because they've never done it before. One current problem, of course, aside from all of this, is our spacesuits aren't the best at doing geology. Normal tools like hammers, they're a little precarious around spacesuits, which can be punctured, and you know they have those face shields, which could be broken. Spacesuits need to be improved. The tools need to be improved. The spacecraft needs to be improved. There's so many different things that we still need to do in order to get this job done. But it's not just NASA that's trying to do this. 
Two years before NASA's announcement, a group of Silicon Valley entrepreneurs announced that they hoped to develop a robotic spacecraft capable of extracting valuable materials from asteroids. Planetary Resources is the company, and in July of 2015, they launched their first test spacecraft, the Arcad Reflect spacecraft. It's a small satellite. It was launched from the International Space Station, and it's on a 90-day mission to test the avionics and control systems to see if they could go grab an asteroid. The Planetary Resources co-founder and co-chairman said that our team is developing the technology that will enable humanity to create an off-planet economy that will fundamentally change the way we live on Earth. But is that really true? Once we capture an asteroid, what do we do with it? You know, capturing it's hard enough. What do we do when we get it? And even if we capture it, what's in there? How much really is in these space rocks? You're gonna have to find out that tomorrow. So make sure you come back to Test Tube Plus for that. Subscribe so you get all of our episodes. Thanks for watching, I'm Trace. Let us know down in the comments if you have any ideas of how you could capture an asteroid out there. You know, seems pretty complicated. Any ideas could help. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.